All right, so in 1987, you were told by a cardiologist that physical examination is irrelevant. And evidently, you've accepted that position as true. Well, let me tell you a little story about a patient of mine that may change your mind. So I had a patient admitted to my service with mitral valve endocarditis. And on hospital day three or four, the patient developed a three-component scratchy sound over his chest that was consistent with a uh, pericardial friction rub, making the diagnosis of acute pericarditis, which, by the way, cannot be made with echocardiography. A couple days later, the friction rub went away, the heart sounds became a bit more distant, and around that same time, the patient developed hypotension. The astute clinician would be able to connect the dots and make the realization that the endocarditis evolved into acute infectious pericarditis, which then evolved into cardiac tamponade. As fluid fills the pericardial space, separating the visceral and parietal layers of the pericardium, the friction rub goes away. Now that diagnosis was made entirely on physical examination, and unless you are adding to the absurd healthcare costs by ordering echocardiograms every day on your patients with endocarditis, you're gonna miss that diagnosis. So to say that you know, physical examination is irrelevant is not only an incorrect statement, but frankly, it's dangerous. And uh, I could share stories with you all day long about why physical examination is important.